Kate and William congratulate Queen and Philip with cute anniversary card made by children. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William have publicly marked the Queen and Prince Philip's wedding anniversary. Kate and Prince Philip's official Twitter account shared the Cambridge's best wishes to the elderly couple on their wedding anniversary. They wrote on the Kensington Royal account, wishing a very happy wedding anniversary to Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. In the tweet, the Cambridges include the newly released portrait of the Queen and Prince Philip, who is seen holding the card their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louise, have made for their great-grandparents. The cheerful message also includes another picture with a close-up of the children's sweet card. The Queen and Prince Philip are celebrating their milestone wedding anniversary privately at Windsor Castle while they have been self-isolating since the beginning of the second lockdown. Kate, Prince William and their children are expected to be at Kensington Palace as Prince George and Prince Charlotte are enrolled at Thomas's Tracy School in South London. Buckingham Palace released yesterday a heartwarming portrait of the Queen and Prince Philip in which the couple looks smiling at the card Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis made for them for this important photograph. The Queen decided to wear the chrysanthemum brooch, the same she donned in portraits taken during her honeymoon more than seven decades ago. She also wore the same brooch in pictures marking the couple's 60th wedding anniversary in 2007. The Queen and her husband also spent the first national lockdown together, staying at the Berkshire Castle between March 19 and early August. They then left to enjoy their summer break in Scotland where Kate, William and the children visited them. Other roles including the Wessex and Princess Eugene also headed north to hold sociably distanced meeting with the Queen and Prince Philip. As the coronavirus pandemic made it impossible to host key events attended by the royals while at Balmoral, such as the Highland Games, the Queen and the Duke cut short their stay in Scotland. In mid-September, they decided to spend a few weeks together at Wood Cottage, which has become the Duke's main residence since he retired from the public office. In October, Prince Philip remained at his home in Norfolk, while the Queen returned to Windsor Castle to resume her royal duties. The monarch met again her grandson, Prince William, during her first royal visit since March when the pair joined staff at Port and Down and officially opened a new facility at the Science Park in Wiltshire hours before Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced a second national lockdown. The Queen travelled to Norfolk to spend a weekend there with Prince Philip. As confirmed by Buckingham Palace at the time, at the beginning of the following week, they returned back to Berkshire. Their decision to remain together during the second national lockdown was welcomed with delight by royal author Penny Juna. Uh, she said, I think it's very nice if they're together in the same residence, same part of the world. It's company for one another. They're a marvellous old couple. The Queen and Prince Philip usually spend their Christmas break at Sandringham House with several members of the royal family. However, the uncertainty created by the coronavirus pandemic could disrupt their three-decade long tradition and see the couple remain at Windsor throughout December and the beginning of the new year.